motorsport. Fast, thrilling, and certainly not for the faint-hearted. However, the number of women participating in motorsport remains shockingly low. In fact, there hasn't been a female driver in Formula One in nearly 50 years. In 2019, it was reported that female drivers made up only 8% of all registered racing licence holders in the UK. Fewer women than 10 years ago. Unless real action is taken to help more women into such a male-dominated sport, we could be watching another 40 years of male-only Formula One drivers on the grid. I met with three inspirational female drivers who are competing to find out more about what it's like being a woman in motorsport. Hi there, my name is Nabila Tejpal and I am a rally driver in the wonderful field of motorsports. I've been competing for about six years now. I remember sitting in the driving seat and instantly falling in love. Hi, my name is Claudia Lance-Jones. I have recently started go-karting as of July 2021 and I'm completely addicted to it now. Hi, my name's Vicky Campbell. I'm an assistant practitioner and I work for the NHS. And my other love is motorsport and racing. While speaking with Nabila, Claudia and Vicky, it was clear each had a different route leading them into the world of motorsport. I used to go to events with my dad and stand in the forest and that exhilarating feeling of having a car fly by you through the gravel. Such an incredible feeling and such an incredible atmosphere. I think for me... I love motorsport because I've had the chance to do it with my family and there's a lot of family involvement. I kind of fell into the sport through stunt driving. I work on films and I saw these stunt drivers going round and round in these amazing cars and I thought, oh, I love cars. Wouldn't that be fun to be a stunt driver? So I started heading down that route. Eventually kind of found that I just loved the racing and the competitiveness of just being a racing driver and thought I might as well give it a go. Well, I've always been active and I like to keep fit. But from a young age, I've always watched racing, we've always watched motorbikes, I've always watched boxing with my dad and my mum. And uh, yeah, I continue to do this with my children now and my husband. Um, motorsport's a massive part of our life. I can't really imagine our life without it, to be honest. Anything that gets the adrenaline pumping, we're definitely into it. However, motorsport needs to fast track change in order to bring more women into the sport, from grassroots right through to the upper levels. As a woman, you just don't get taken seriously. A lot of the time, in corporate karting particularly, you'll be given a slower kart just because they assume you're not going to be performing as fast as the male competitors. I do experience quite a lot of dirty driving just because people don't like the fact that they're being overtaken or beaten by a girl. I do get my fair share of shunts. Obviously, it's only been nine months. There are definitely areas which need to be improved. But what about the future of motorsport? Can you see it making these necessary changes to allow for more women to enter the sport? Motorsport is such an up and coming sport and there's so many ways that you can be involved. And I think it's an incredible opportunity for women and girls right now. And it's at the prime of going into such an exciting world. I think motorsports is fantastic. I've always had a love for it. I love watching racing. I love going to events. I love going to rallies. I love just being involved in the atmosphere. And I know it can take a little bit of time and and it's got to take a little bit of mental toughness, I guess, especially if you're getting into the driving game. But I feel like with the amount of opportunity there is in the sport and how much people are talking about they're ready to diversify the sport, I think it's an absolutely amazing time for girls to and women to start getting involved. Yeah, we do need more women in motorsport. I feel like there's women and girls out there. We just need to get them and encourage them and support them to step up and take the plunge just like I did. And together we can do that, can't we? When I thought women like me didn't exist, there was only me that liked cars, bikes, boxing. So I didn't really tend to kind of talk about it much, apart from with my closest. I think it's so important that we get more girls involved in motorsport especially for young girls who are just 
watching F1 on TV, they're not going to see many, if any, women on the screen. And for myself, when I was younger, I assumed that F1 and most motorsport was just for men. I didn't see it as something that was available to girls. Um, So I never pursued it, which I think is a great shame and is probably the case for a lot of young girls. So, yeah, I think we need to get more women on screen, on social media, just in the public eye. And, yeah, I reckon us girls can give the boys a run for their money. It was great hearing from each athlete and perhaps the right changes are being made. There does seem to be a select few programmes with the passion to truly grow this sport for women. One being the W Series, who launched in 2018, a free-to-enter championship that states it has eliminated the financial barriers that historically prevents women from progressing to the upper levels of motorsport. Within this series, female drivers are selected upon ability alone, with all cars mechanically identical, allowing talent to trump money rather than those backed by the wealthiest. The W Series will also race alongside eight Formula One Grand Prix weekends this year, and Sky Sports has recently agreed a three-year partnership to broadcast races too. And for the younger generation, Girls on Track UK, founded in 2016, a joint initiative between the FIA and Motorsport UK with the agenda of providing events to inspire girls and women, allowing them to see and believe there is a rightful and valuable place for them in the motorsports industry. Perhaps the future is looking bright after all for women in motorsport. Yasmin Ryder, Sports Gazette.